All right. So Let's 20 work. questions with Sean. 20 right. questions. Are you ready to go? Rapid fire. Are you rolling? All right. Yep. Okay. We're good to go. Okay. So first question, seeing as how it's Canada's 150th, what makes you most proud to be Canadian? Uh, what makes me most proud to be Canadian is our inclusive nature when it comes to our immigration policies, especially now during the Trump era and seeing the difference between the two. Um, and, but I do think that we can do a lot more to bridge the gap with our indigenous communities too. So we're looking outward and welcoming those people in, but we have to first look inward and do everything we can to mend that relationship. Speaking of Canada again, what's your favorite Heritage Minute? Uh, my favorite Heritage Minute is the fake Heritage Minute that we did uh, on 22 Minutes where Susan Kent played whatever the basketball one was. She, that is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my whole life. So I, that's my favorite Heritage Minute. I haven't seen that one, but I know the actual bat. That's one of my favorite. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> When you were a kid, why did you tell people you wanted to be when you grew up? Uh, I wanted to be Steve Podborski. I have no idea who that is. He's, he's a crazy Canuck skier, one of the best skiers in the world. Okay, all right. Steve Podborski. All right. What's your favorite Houghton topic? Uh, Pirate's Ray Jam. Who's your greatest comedic inspiration? Ooh. You know, uh... I'd be remiss if I didn't say Codco and, you know, the gang originally from back in the day. Uh, Ray Guy is really funny. Uh, I think that Monty Python was a huge influence on me growing up. Uh, I love everybody from Eddie Murphy to uh, now Louis C.K. I think is one of the best stand-ups on the planet. Uh, Bill Burr is hilarious. Um, and then my grandfather, who cracked me up all the time with his dry wit, Fred Bartlett, and yeah, people all around Burlington, you know, just, just, when you talk to people in Newfoundland, their, their sense of humor is so insanely sharp, uh, that you can't help but have a sense of humor when you leave, even if you come here and you're originally an Eastern European, uh, like an Eastern, the East Bloc Germany back in the day, with no sense of humor. You come to Newfoundland, it's, it's funny camp. Right on. Well, okay, this is a bit of a flashback. If you had an album stuck in your car CD player, which you probably would now, and were forced to listen to it over and over again whenever you took a spin, what album do you wish that would be? Uh, I think it would have to be Thriller, Michael Jackson's Thriller, or this is for flashback when I was a kid, or Voulez Vu by ABBA. <laughs> What's the most trouble you got into as a child, and what was your punishment? Most trouble I got into as a child was I was fake fighting. Myself and this other kid would do these fake fights. We were acting fighting to try to get people. <laughs> it's so crazy now that I think about it. To try to get people to come and chase us and break up the fight. <laughs> it was so stupid. And so I remember uh, we did this fake fighting thing, and then we'd all scatter, and, uh, and then uh, the cop showed up, and put us in the back of the car, <laughs> and scared the shit out of us. But I never really got in trouble. Okay, okay, that's good. So uh, this will be printed in October, so seeing as that is the case, what Halloween costume would you say best represents your personality? Wow. Uh, I think uh, best represents my personality. What Halloween costume? Um, I was gonna say some kind of primate, like a monkey, a chimp. I'm a very chimp, chimp-like creature. Although I don't throw a poo at anybody. <laughs> I haven't in the last few weeks. Okay, you might get in trouble if you did that. Probably. Yeah. If Raj Binder attended a White House press briefing, what's the one question that you think he would ask? Uh, Mr. Spicy. Can you get me a glass of water? <laughs> oh, R.I.P. Mr. Spicy. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> what would be the title of your autobiography? Jonder! Exclamation point. <laughs> How would you spell that? J-U-N-D-E-R. -E okay. Hawkins Cheesies. Love them or loathe them? Who? Hawkins Cheesies. Don't know them. Don't eat them. All right. 
Okay. That's a pretty contentious one, usually, for a lot of people. But. If you could give Trent McClellan one piece of advice about joining the ranks of 22 Minutes, what would that be? Uh, number one, don't do any sway East Indian characters or I'll punch him in the dick. Number two, um, the more he is himself, the more he is his own original voice, the better it is for him. Like, everything's got to be about that. Like, when I first came in, I was like, because you're coming into a, a juggernaut of a historical show, and you think, oh, I've got to fit into the mold of what 22 Minutes is. And I think the more that you find your own voice, the better it is, you know, for everything. But don't be fooled in thinking you got to be Greg Toomey or Rick Mercer or what, Mark Critch or, you know what I mean? It's like Trent McClellan is Trent McClellan. I'm, I'm Sean Majumder. Susan Kent is Susan Kent. That's what makes the show unique, and that's what makes the show so great. And uh, who would you most like to impersonate for 22 Minutes? In this upcoming season, I'm not even sure if he's still going to be around, but I kind of want to do that guy Milo Yiannopoulos. Milo. Right. I like to do that cat. <laughs> but I don't think he's going to be a story anymore. Yeah. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. I enjoyed do. doing Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. He was so fun to impersonate. Ian Hanaman saying he's now the national guy, so we'll be doing more of Ian Hanaman's bridge. All right, all right, good stuff. And uh, just speaking of films again and roles, you've had a role, of course, in Harold and Kumar go to White Castle a while back. What's one takeout food you'd go to the end of the earth for? Food truck tacos in L.A. All right. The best tacos you'll ever eat for like 80 cents a taco. Wow. They're incredible. And they, there's different ones. Different trucks have better. Some have, you know, more salsas, less salsas. Mm, Mexican food. But food truck, not Mexican food, food truck tacos. Los Angeles food truck tacos. Right. End of the earth. All right. Uh, 22 minutes again. If you had to compete in a three-legged race, what 22 minutes cast member would you choose as your partner? Susan Kent. Quick Susan. <laughs> and we asked Trent this one as well. What's your favorite Newfoundland word or saying? How long you own for? <laughs> You want a dream date for two at Chess's Fish and Chips. Who, living or dead, would you choose as your dinner date? Rudy Norman. My executive director for OM. Nice. nice. Finish this sentence. You can't visit Burlington NL without. Getting out and bowl. If you could teleport, would you skip the journey to get to the destination? No. And finally... Unless... <laughs> Depends on the destination. <laughs> okay, and the last of the 20 questions. Describe your worst camping disaster ever. Worst camping disaster ever. Uh, Yosemite National Park in California. And squirrels got underneath the car and ate wires and cables and tore up the inside of the car, the rental car that we had. <laughs> and so, yeah, and we passed on our insurance. Anyway. <laughs> all right, all right. That